in real life to love me and all those jazzy things on Valentine's Day, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, I think he is so funny. I think he's hilarious, which is like the same thing as funny, so I don't know why I said that twice. Honestly, like, can we just take all the boys I just mentioned and then just like squish them into one boy and just make like a super boy? Oh my god. Can we like get like genetic engineering and just make like the perfect boy for Jay? Scientists, hit me up for that. Like, let's talk. I need one in my life. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here to tell y'all about my book boyfriends. Because I figured it is the day before Valentine's Day, and I don't have a real day to uh, talk about on Valentine's Day because mine doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day, so you know, it's fine. So I'm gonna spread my love to other people that are fictional because logic. Anyways, without further ado, let us get started. So these are in no particular order. They're, They're just kind of the boys that I saw on my shelf and was like, hey, I like you, you can be my boyfriend. So we gonna get right into it. The first fictional boyfriend who I love so very much is Four from the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. I think he is so adorable. I mean, he's had like a super bad past, so like he's probably not what you would call adorable because he's kind of like brooding and super moody. But just something about that boy. Ugh gets me every time. And like the actor, I think his name's like Theo James in the movies, he is so nice to look at. I would look at him all day and never get bored. Four can be one of my book boyfriends. My second book boyfriend that I chose for this video would have to be Gail from the Hunger Games trilogy. We are about this whole PETA thing. I mean like I love PETA. He's great. Great guy. But like Gail is where it's at. I don't care what any of you say. Like yeah he did some questionable things but like again movie Gail? I could stare at him all day as well. He's one of the Hemsworth brothers. I think he's the Liam. Liam Hemsworth. I could just... Ugh, he's beautiful. Beautiful. My third book boyfriend should come to no surprise for a lot of you because I gush about him any chance I get. Because I just... He's my little baby angel unicorn. And if that doesn't give it away, then I don't know what would. But it is Levi from Fangirl. Oh my god, I love him. <gasps> so much. He is so sweet and caring. And he's just like... A real guy? Like, he acts like a real guy. He's not, like, not flawed like a lot of these guys are. He's a person, you know? And he just treats Kath so well. And he just actually cares about her. And, you know, we need more Levi's in this world who actually want to make their girlfriends happy and care about their well-being. Just, we need them, okay? We need them in our lives. And also, I just feel like I want him in my life because he would bring Reagan with him. And I liked Reagan. She was chill. They're a package deal. So it'd be fine. It'd be fine with me. My fourth and fifth are also kind of a package deal, so like we're just gonna lump them together and they can just they can just come both and I can have one on each arm and it'll be great and we can just like chill. And it is Will and Jem from the Infernal Devices trilogy. I don't care that like technically you should date one person, okay? Like it's fine. We're just they're a package deal. I want them both. They're so funny and just together they're even better. They just like play off each other and I just I need them in my life to make it more smiley and joking and just, we need happiness and they can provide that for me. And also like, I'm pretty sure they're probably pretty nice to look at as well, so. How you doing Will and Jen? Hit me up. My next one. You guys are probably gonna think he's like super weird and like, whatever, it's fine. It's R from Warm Bodies. Yes, he's a zombie, but like. <laughs> I don't discriminate. He's so cute and sweet and just like, I love him. He's so adorable and just, he's so nice to Julie and I don't even care that he's a zombie, you know? Like, I love you anyways, R. We can, we can be together still. It's, it's not weird. It's not. My next one. Honestly, I don't really want him for him. That sounds really bad, but it'll make sense once I tell you. It is Park from Eleanor and Park. Honestly, the only reason he's my book boyfriend is because I want his mom as my mother-in-law. Because she is so funny. I just, I need her in my life, and like, if that means I have to have Park, then like, it's fine. Like, he's pretty cool anyways, like, he makes mixtapes and stuff for Eleanor, and like, that's super cute. Like, he'd probably still be a great boyfriend, and he's super caring too, but like, mostly I just want his mom in my life. Okay, this, this one is actually my like, number one book boyfriend. I would go to the moon and back for this man. I love him so much. It is Captain Thorne from the Lunar Chronicles. I love him. Honestly, I just think he's so funny and he's so sweet to Cress and like he's not really into the whole love thing at the beginning and then like as he gets to know her, he's like, dang girl, you the best thing that ever happened to me. And like personally, I need that in my life, okay? I need a guy who's like, you the best thing that ever happened to me and just 
love me unconditionally, and it would be great. So, so like, Captain Thorne, hit me up. Like, you don't need a crest, you have a J. It's, like, kind of the same thing, except I'm, like, six feet tall and she's, like, four foot nothing. But, like, close enough, like, I have blonde hair, too, so, like, it's fine. We're basically the same people. I mean, like, I'm kind of stupid with computers, but, like, same, same people. It's fine. Then, I have a boyfriend from a book I recently read. Which I will have a review up for tomorrow if you want to check that out. And it is West from Shadow of a Girl by Shannon Greenland. He is the sweetest little boy in the entire world. And he's a lead singer guitarist in a band so you know your girl about that. He is so sweet and patient and kind with Eve and her whole like background and the things that happened to her and just I need a patient and sweet guy okay because I'm a lot to handle. I'm very sassy and a lot of people cannot deal with it so I need someone like Wes who can just go along with what I'm doing and be okay with it and just keep up with me you know you know I need that. And then my final book boyfriend for this video is Jest from Heartless. I don't have the book in physical format because my mom is reading it. But oh my gosh my heart, I love him so much. He is like, oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. And just like the whole magician thing, like, you would always be entertained. Like, there would never be a dull moment in your relationship. Because like, he would just be so funny and entertaining. And it would be, ugh. I need a jest as well. All right, guys. So those were all my book boyfriends. I have plenty more if I really thought about it. But I figured, you know. That was enough for one video. If you want to hear about my other book boyfriends, let me know down below and I will make another video sometime eventually when I feel like it because, you know, we never do what we say we're going to do here on this channel. Woo! So happy Valentine's Day tomorrow to all of you in relationships or single or, you know, whatever. I still love you. We can be a thing. You know, we can. We're now dating. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.